So here we go. Godoy on the left, Salo on the right. Certainly these two have faced each other before. Yep. But not in this context. This is not going to be a playful match. Salo undoing the, the lapel and then making the grip with his left hand on the lapel that's undone. I don't think that's for Wormgard. No, I, I venture to guess not. Salo using his knee to break the grips. Both these guys have good stand-up and, of course, good groundwork. Looks like Sal is trying to get a two-on-one on, on that arm. There, there's that two-on-one. It doesn't have quite the angle that he would like. Like to, re there he tries to pull into a, into a sweep. Dory good, doing a good job basing out, stepping around. Sal in a single leg X guard position. You can see the grips that yeah. Godoy has yeah. are are very very powerful. Yep. Making you sure can Sala see it in the way that the, the Sala is using the, the, the single leg from the single leg X guard. Could always going to be very difficult to finish from this position. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful not to hop out of bounds and only earn an advantage for the effort. It looks like that's going to be the case. So Salo makes the first move on the board up by one advantage. This is the final. Masters 2, super heavyweight. Referee, you see him looking at his clock. You have 20 seconds to tie your belt. He does, and action resumes. Those grip strips. <laughs> Circling and ripping. A little hand fighting. Interlocking hands. Both guys' postures pretty upright. With the uh, super heavyweight division in Masters 2, it becomes a little bit more challenging to, to shoot just your classic double leg, you know, get in there. It requires a little bit of, of strength, explosiveness. The knee might a little hard on the knees. Yeah, to be able sprawl, to do. it can be a lot of pressure on your neck. It's a lot of weight to move around. So Saul is grabbing the collar. He prefers to grab with his left hand. Godoy grabbing with his right. Godoy now using the, the two-on-one grip on Salo's right arm. We haven't seen his plan. Yeah, Godoy doing a good job of breaking grips, but I want to see some offense from Godoy. Could see a stalling call here. There it is. One for each. I kind of like to see Salo on bottom. From yeah. a spectator point of view, Godoy showed some great passing. Salo recovered in that single leg axe and came up on a single leg. That was a, a pretty exciting exchange. Yep. Both men go out of bounds. Two minutes remaining. There's a lot you can learn just watching the grips here. Salo grabbing that lower lapel. Well, Godoy grabs the conventional grip with his right hand. Solo trying to sorry. So so, stops the pull guard. This is something that I that I hope we would see. Mm -hmm. With these two in particular, could have easily taken place all on the feet, decided okay. by advantages. I like to see a little bit of the groundwork, a little bit of the stand-up. And let's see what Solo can do from the closed guard. Let's see if Godoy seconds. can get out of it. Solo working an arm drag, it looks like. Looks like he's utilizing a two-on-one grip on Godoy's left arm. Godoy grabs a collar, Solo breaks his posture down. 
A little grip fighting going on in the sleeves. You can see the circling motion, even though we're on the opposite side, we would like. Godoy posts his leg, he's gonna look to stand up. And it looks like he's gonna try without the sleeve, he has to, he doesn't have much time. He is locks in his base at fully vertical. He's using both elbows on the inside and grinding. Salo's hanging on, has a double sleeve grip, making it difficult for him to push on those legs. Godoy's now using a narrow base from the standing position. Salo opens, uh -huh. he managed to open Salo's guard. Salo playing a De La Hiva with the same side grip. Moves to the sit-up guard once again. He's trying to feed that, that sleeve underneath the leg, potentially. Godoy's got 20 seconds. All he needs is an advantage to tie it up. Best bet at this point would be to establish the half guard, but he's a long way from that half guard. Seven seconds. Three more seconds and Salo will take the world title in the Masters Senior Two division. Sometimes five minutes just is not enough. But that was a really nice exchange when Salo pulled the guard, got a single leg X, stood up with a single leg, and he was awarded with an advantage from that, so. We got to see most dynamics of, of the match, at least. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations, Salo Hibero.